All right, so let's find out how much you actually understand about percent when it comes to math. Now, I'm going to assume that uh, most of you can do a simple percent problem, uh, maybe something like this, 7% of 20 is what? So if I gave you a calculator, pretty much all of you, I'm going to assume again, uh, can find the answer to this question. And that is a fantastic start. But uh, the problem that we have right here is a bit more interesting than that. So can you solve this type of percent problem? So the question is, 18% of what number is 60? All right, so this is the problem. Feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so one more time, 18% of some number, okay, is 60. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is the following, 333.3. .3. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you're going to get all of this, an A+, plus, a 100%, a happy face, and a certificate of excellence for your knowledge of percent. Now, the great thing about uh, this question is there's not just one way to solve this problem. Okay, it really depends on how you were taught percent in school. So if you uh, got the answer right and uh, you did it in a, di in a different way, then I'm going to show you in just one second. No big deal. As long as you understand what you're doing, that's what counts. But if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I forgot how to solve these type of uh, percent problems. Can you help me out? Well, I definitely can. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get into things right now. So the first thing to kind of keep in mind here is that there's not just one way to solve percent problems. Now, many of you were taught how to solve percent uh, problems uh, kind of through pattern recognition, and that's okay. In other words, when you have uh, this type of problem, when you're trying to find a percent of some number and you know the answer and you're looking for this number, you just kind of know the steps to take to get the right answer. And that is perfectly fine as long as you understand what you're doing and you can answer all these questions, you know, correctly. Well, then, you know, kind of keep with that method. But uh, my favorite way to solve percent problems that uh, are a bit more unusual or more interesting is by using algebra. All right, so I find algebra a very direct, a very logical approach to solving very basic percent problems. And uh, the algebra that we're going to be doing is very simple. So if you are afraid of algebra, don't be. I'm going to show you the exact, exact steps that we can use algebraically to answer a question like this. But uh, before we do this problem, we need to be able to do a simple percent problem like this. Okay, so 18% of 50. Now, I kind of made that assumption in the beginning of this video that uh, most of you out there could uh, figure this out with a calculator. All right, so if you can't do this, well, you're not going to be able to answer this question. All right, so 18% of 50, how do we find the percent of a number? Well, let's go ahead and review that uh, procedure right now. Okay, so uh, it's basically pretty easy. What we need to do is change this percent into a decimal or a fraction, okay? But typically, we uh, change a percent into a decimal. Okay, so how do we change a percent into a decimal? Easy, all we have to do is simply divide uh, this number by 100. Okay, so when you divide a, a number by 100, effectively what you are going to do is move, or the resulting thing that happens is the decimal point moves over two places to the left. So 18% uh, is the same thing as 18.0%. So when we divide by 100, the decimal point moves over two places to the left. So 18% as a decimal is 0.18. But uh, again, 18% uh, you can express as a fraction, and that is 18 over 100. Okay, so 18 over 100, that is perfectly fine. The main idea here is that you have to get out of percent and either work uh, with a fraction or a decimal. But uh, again, it's far more common for people to uh, uh, convert or write their percent as a decimal. Okay, so that is step one. 
So what you're going to do is change your percent into a decimal, and then you're simply going to multiply by the number to get your answer. All right, so here is how that looks. 18% is the same thing as 0.18, and then we're just going to multiply by 50. So 0.18 times 50 is 9. All right, now, if you understand this, well, you'll be able to understand the algebra to solve our problem. Okay, so here is our question. So we have 18% of what number is 60? So this uh, uh, letter or this uh, word, excuse me, in math is, is the same thing as the equal sign. So we're going to kind of translate this uh, verbal sentence into an algebraic equation. All right, so 18% of some mystery number is or is equal to 60. So in other words, 18% of something, okay, we'll just kind of put a box here, is equal to 60. Okay, now when we don't know the value of a number, well, we can use algebra to solve this problem. So what we can do here is simply use a variable like x to represent this number. Okay, so 18% of some number x is equal to 60. So how do we find a percent of a number? Well, easy. We're going to uh, change this to a decimal and then multiply by x. Okay, so here is what this equation is going to look like. So 18% of what number is 60? So algebraically, 18% is the same thing as 0.18. So 18% of this uh, mystery number x is 0.18x, and it's equal to 60. So here is our simple equation, 0.18x is equal to 60. So if we can solve this equation for x, we can answer the question. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, now before I solve this simple equation and answer the question, let's just do a quick review. So remember, anytime you want to find the percent of any number, we have to change that percent into a decimal or a fraction. But it's really easy to change a percent into a decimal because all we have to do is move the decimal point over two places to the left. So 18% is the same thing as a decimal, 0.18. Okay, now once we have our decimal, all we have to do is multiply it by the number that we want to find the percent of, and we will have our answer. So 18% of some number. Now again, we don't know what this number is. This is the question. So we're using this variable x to represent this number. But uh, 0.18 times this number is going to be equal to 60. We know the answer. Now, in algebra, to uh, take a number and multiply it by a variable, all we have to do is write the number in front of the variable. So 0.18 times x is the same thing as 0.18x, and this is equal to 60. Okay, so now we have this real basic one-step algebra equation, and if we can figure out what x is equal to, well, we will have solved the problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So here again is our equation, and uh, all we need to do here is one step to solve this equation. Now, in algebra, uh, to solve any equation, you're looking to figure out what the variable is equal to. So here, we want to figure out what x is equal to, but uh, there's really a 1 in front of this x. So you want to be thinking to yourself, how can I get a 1 in front of the x? Because 1x is the same thing as x. And again, whatever x is equal to is going to be our answer. Okay, so I have 0.18x. So how can I get a 1 in this situation? Well, 0.18 times x, well, this is really easy. If I take 0.18 and divide it by itself, anything divided by itself is 1. So here, I'm going to end up with a 1x, right? So 0.18 divided by 0.18 is 1, or I'm going to end up with a 1x. But uh, the golden rule in algebra is whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the exact same thing on the other side. 
So remember, an equation is basically a balanced scale. So you can uh, pretty much do what you want uh, to an equation as long as you do it to both sides, right? So if I want to add 3 over here, well, no problem as long as I add 3 over here to keep things in balance. Okay, so now all we have to do is take 60 and divide it by a 0.18. Now, for those of you that uh, found the answer or uh, solved this problem without using algebra, you still needed to uh, take that 60 and divide it, divide it by 0.18, right? So again, it comes down to how you learn how to solve percent uh, problems, but uh, this is a step that uh, everyone needs to take to get this uh, right. All right, so 60 divided by, divided by 0.18 in our calculator is going to be 333.3 repeating. So this means uh, threes just go on and on and on to infinity. So instead of writing all those threes, you just put a little repeating bar right there. So we don't have to write this answer as long as you have 333.3. That's good enough. All right, so percent is probably the most important practical math skill that everyone needs to know. And, uh, you know, it, a percent really, you know, it's not just finding percent of numbers. There's all different types of interesting questions like this, and there's even other types. But uh, I really like using algebra to solve uh, percent problems because it's just very clear. It's easy to translate a question into an algebraic equation. But again, if you know how to uh, solve percent uh, problems in your own uh, way, the way you learn, it's perfectly fine as long as you can answer the questions. But uh, for those of you that uh, need to improve in percent, well, I highly recommend that you do so because this symbol here we see all day long, right? So like our cell phone here is, you know, maybe if you look at your battery charge, it's like 40%. You know, when you turn on the, the TV, the news, they're talking about inflation or interest rates or credit card. I mean, percent, this symbol is everywhere. Okay, you see it all day long. So it's a good idea to know a thing or two about percent. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.